Hello, welcome everybody to another uh, Facebook Friday. It's another Felici Friday, right? How is everybody? Um, summer is here, right? I was talking with my sister uh, yesterday about that, how at least for me, I feel like my kids have already had quite a summer, you know, without having um, the regular school going on. So we've had some really beautiful summer weather. So we are all enjoying it. Um, getting down to a friend's pool, which has been um, lovely. I I need a little more a little more sun, but you know it'll happen, right? So hey, Philomena, hello, welcome. People are popping on. Hey, Sharon, so glad you guys can join me today. Um, and yes, oh my goodness, we have a new annual catalog, right? Finally, I can do more than just show you guys like the outside of the catalog. I'm sure most, hopefully most all of you have um, the catalog, right? Hey, Jamie, um, if you do not, please let me know. I would be happy to send a catalog to you. Um, yeah, you guys have to have. Yay, Anna, you can join us on the live. Yes, yes, yeah, so you have to have an annual catalog in your hand so you can sit at the beach, right, and flip through your catalog. Uh, yes, yay. Okay, awesome. Everybody's popping on. So yeah, I got my lotion rubbed in my hands. Hey, Nikki. Hello. Welcome. Um, yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. New annual catalog, right? Woohoo! I've got lots and lots of good stuff to show you guys, right? And welcome anybody new to Facebook Live, either watching right now or later on the replay or on YouTube. Hello, Kay. So glad you guys can all join me. Um, we have an awesome product of the week this week. The Celebrate, hey Susie, the Celebrate. Um, oh, Abby helped you shop yesterday. Oh, that had to be fun for both of you guys, right? Yes, awesome, awesome. I know everybody's like getting their first like annual catalog orders in. You know, it was crazy because on Wednesday, they said, um, you know, definitely by like two o'clock. No, what did we say? We figured that out last week, right? Noon Mountain Standard Time was two o'clock East Coast for us here in Michigan. And um, I hopped on at maybe like 11 or 11.30 and I started putting an order together and I was just flying right through things. And then I had to do something else. I came back and when I came back, it was super duper slow. Like it was to the point of like, you know, wanting to bang my head against the computer, the wall, anything. So I basically just like forget. I was like, forget it. I can't, like I got other stuff to do. I cannot be wasting all this time trying to get my order in. So I think we almost broke the system by the time everybody figured out that they could get um, orders in. So I waited, I put it in um, later Wednesday night, and hopefully I'll get everything um, quickly. So yeah, anyway, I'm like, I'm sorry, I missed so many comments on there. I'm gonna have to go back and see what you guys are saying. I apologize. I was like trying to focus on what I was saying. Occasionally I can do that and ignore the comments and then I feel really bad. So anyway, I will come back and check your comments or re-comment right now because now I can see them. But anyway, in the meantime, we have our awesome, yes, and looks like Abby says she likes the sunflower flower bundle. I'm so excited to see. Oh, very cool. So yeah, the awesome Celebrate Sunflower stamp set and then the Sunflower dies. We're going to have so much fun playing with these today. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the inspiration we've been sharing all week long on our Facebook group. Just so you guys know, those are not my projects. There are watermarks. If you ever want to know who made them, uh, follow the watermark or like Google the name in the watermark and you can get to their blog and get all kinds of details about the projects that they posted. I never want to take credit for anybody else's work. Thank you for the share, uh, Philomena. But I'm not able to Oh my, I wish, I wish I had the time to like make um, six projects every single week, including what we're doing on Facebook Live and share them on our Facebook group. It's just not possible. So I hop over to Pinterest, I grab cute projects that other people have made with the product of the week, and I share them with you guys all week long as fun inspiration. They also get me inspired for the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate on Facebook Live, right? So the other thing to know is the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate right here on Facebook Live, I will upload pictures to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. I do that every single Friday afternoon after our Facebook Live. So if you want to order the Sunflower, Celebrate Sunflower Bundle, any of the other products that we use to make the projects, you can order them now, right? Because we can order out of the annual catalog. Hey, Wendy. Um, 
Yeah, so you can order, you can get item codes, you can get dimensions, everything that you want to order, and then also to recreate the projects that we are making. In addition, don't forget guys, if you put in at least a $30 order online, hey Diana, um, you get the projects that I'm gonna demonstrate with our new um, Celebrate Sunflowers bundle. Hey Darla, yay, oh my gosh, fun, fun, different people are able, that's what's been so kind of cool about this whole COVID thing is people that normally are at work or not able to um, hop on are able to hop on on the live, so very cool. So yeah, anyway, so put your online orders in, use, I have a new host code for June, I'll give you that in a little bit. It's also on my blog, but you're going to get the projects that I demonstrate on Facebook Live when you order and use um, the host code. Just at least a $30 order gets you the projects, right? Hey, Diane, if you bump your order up to $50, you also get either the free embellishment for June, which I don't have yet. I've, it's on order, so I'll show you guys that next week, or the PDF tutorial. Let me show you guys that right now, actually. So we have a new, it's buried. Hold on one sec. I got to... Yeah, we have our new June Demo Design Dream Team. Hey, Connie, good morning. The PDF tutorial, it's got 16 different projects in it. I'm gonna try to kind of flip through here so you can see um, just a little bit, right? It's front and back, lots and lots of detail on how to make the projects full color. Awesome, awesome. This is featuring all of our new product in our most recent current annual catalog. And I'll show you guys, this is actually my project for the month of June in the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. So you would get all the details on how to make this card along with 15 other projects. And again, that is free with a $50 order. You can either pick this Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, which are, um, they're the elegant faceted gems. I'm gonna show you guys those in just a little bit in the catalog. Um, so yeah, anyway, so put your online orders in. I know you guys are gonna want tons of the new annual catalog stuff. So do that and then you can get all the Facebook Live freebies as well, right? So if you have any questions on that, let me know because I know I can barely keep track of it myself. I know that sounds ridiculous, but I always get it figured out, right? I get everybody what they need, but to tell you guys, I get all So hey, oh my gosh, hey Christine, you guys. Oh, this is awesome, I'm so excited. Lots and lots of people on today. So, okay. Um, I think that's it, right? Basic stuff. Um, okay, yeah, so the new annual catalog is live, right? Oh, do you guys know, okay, well, they got a couple of awesome things happening right now too. So first of all, if you put in a big order or if you accumulate a bunch of like friends and family and you get to an order that totals $250 or more in product, you get an extra $25 free host benefits, okay? So typically at a $250 order, you would get 10% free host rewards. So 250, 10%, that's $25 free. And then they're gonna add on another $25 free. So you will get at least $50 for free with that minimum minimum $250 order. If it's higher than that, then you get more than $50 in host benefits. But that is an awesome, awesome thing right now. So think about um, getting, you know, orders together from friends, family, whoever, and get to that $250 mark so you can get $50 in free stuff or host a party. Um, we can do parties down at the stamp studio now. Um, we have to kind of, you know, be careful of the social distancing, but we're going to be opening things back up kind of slowly and carefully here locally. So yeah, awesome. Or if you just want to put your whopper of an order in online, do that and you get all that free stuff too. Or I think even better yet is to get the starter kit because they announced for the month of June, there is an awesome starter kit deal. So this is the deal. You, as a kind of per always, right? You get to pick $125 in product. Plus, you get to pick a bundle, a brand new bundle. Well, of course, you'd probably pick a brand new bundle, but any of the bundles in our catalog. And I can actually open these pages and show them to you now. So if you happen to have a catalog handy, if you look at pages 168 and 169, these are the punch bundles. So you could pick, say for example, this has been a super popular one, right? The jar of flowers stamp set and the punch. So you could pick any of those, right? Any of those bundles there or any of these bundles, that cute whale, that's really fun too, right? Or any of those bundles. So any of the punch bundles you can pick in addition to your $125 in product 
or any of the bundles with the dies, which start, let me make sure, yeah, on page one, oh yeah, they start on page 173 and go through pages, page 179. So there are a whole bunch. Yep, I'm just trying to make sure. I've made my notes here, but so here's an example. So any of these bundles, right? So this bundle with the stamp set, so those are the dies and they tell you about the stamp set there. So they've got those. Then if you flip the next page, I don't even know the names of all of these things, but you could get any of these bundles for free. We got more pages to go, a couple more pages, right? So any of these bundles or any of these bundles, there might even be one more, one or two more pages. Sorry, this isn't, you guys get the idea, right? Pick a bundle, pick a bundle and $125 in free stuff. Any one of these, I would basically find I always say that, right? Find the most expensive bundle that you love and get that plus $125 in product, whatever you want. And you only pay $99 plus sales tax. So in Michigan, you pay $104.94 for $125 in stuff and a free bundle. So it's an awesome deal. They continue to come up with just amazing starter kit deals. Uh, so hello, Miss Trisha and Sherilyn, glad you guys can join me. So spread the word if you are wanting lots of product, that's really even the better way to go. Well, let me tell you the best thing to do, get the starter kit, you can pick all that stuff for free, right? Then you can put your own like big whopper of an order in, get to $250 in orders, right? So you can get the $50 in free stuff. Plus you get 20% off of that order because now you're a demonstrator. So that's the way to do it. I am telling you. I'm sure you guys have wish lists. Ooh, we have a poor connection. I think it just blanked out for a sec. Sorry, I think we're back though. It looks good now. So think about that. It's all through the whole month of June. So June 30th, whatever day of the week that is, I don't know. I haven't even looked to the end of June yet. Anyway, so you got some time. Think about it if you have any questions. Um, email me, message me. Um, oh, good thing to, time to tell you too. My phone number, if you ever need help with anything, you can call or text me 989-330-0259. And also that number is at the bottom of every single email that I send. So feel free to use that if you have any questions on anything, okay? Um, let's see, let's see. Okay, so we are gonna do our first Oh my gosh, did I, no, I did not. I did not skip over it, right? Okay, I gotta check my notes. I had to, I inserted like little things in. So um, I'm trying to read my teeny tiny writing. Yeah, okay. So you guys, I said I blew it. Last week, I totally blew it. I had, I had made myself a note and then somehow the note wasn't where it, like, so this is what happens. All week long, I'm like, oh, I gotta tell people about this and this and this on Facebook Live. So I have this little bin where I put all my notes and then Thursday night when I prep, I pull my notes out and I prep and I get ready for Facebook Live. Somehow the note that was like, don't forget to do the drawing wasn't in there. I don't know what happened to it. So anyway, the drawing where I was gonna give away something fun and free and new from this annual catalog, if you posted pictures of projects with our retiring designer series paper, we are finally gonna do it now, okay? So we have names right here in my bin. I gotta do a couple of drawings, right? So names are in here. If you posted a picture, hello, Rosemary, of a project, using any of our retiring designer series paper. I was wanting to highlight that and show all the fabulous stuff that was leaving. You have to forget about that now though because you can't get any of it anymore. Any of the designer series paper, it's all gone. You cannot get it. Other than at my BOGO sale, which I'm gonna be doing later this month, I think it's June 24th, it's a Wednesday from two to six, and Friday, June 26th from two to five. So. I have a bunch of retired designer series paper in there. So you could still technically get it. But in the meantime, you can't really get it. Okay, so what are we drawing for? Actually, I should tell you guys about that. I'm like shaking all these names around. So I don't have them yet because I was only just able to order them on Wednesday night, like I said. But I'm going to give away, this is a pack of the Elegant Faceted Gems. So you can see it's these. I'm trying not to be rude here, but pointing with that finger. Um, these beautiful, I love those faceted gems. So they come, I think it's like a pearlized white, a pink, and then maybe maybe this is, maybe it's white, pink, and like a pearlized white. Cause that one almost looks green, but I think they said it's like a pearlized white. Let me make sure. 
Oh, I need my glasses. Where, where are we looking up? Clear, okay, clear petal pink and pearlescent white, they're calling them. But they're beautiful, I'm super excited. I love all those little dots. Um, so yeah, they go with the Peony Garden Suite, so that kind of gives you an idea, very soft, subtle, beautiful. So that's what I will be giving away so as soon as I get them. And I did expedite my shipping, um, so I should have those here like middle of next week so then I'll ship them out to you whoever wins right now so and thank you guys that was so fun um, I love the sharing I would highly encourage you to keep doing that I think it's just so inspiring for other people to see what you guys are up to so please continue the sharing share with what new stuff you're playing with now right we'd love to see what you guys come up with so post it on our Facebook group we love um, yeah, love to see the sharing. Okay, so in the meantime, here we go. We are gonna draw our first winner. There are a few of them tucked together. I think I'm down to one. And we have Miss Tammy Taylor. All right, congratulations, Tammy. So as soon as those come in, like I said, it's middle of next week, I will get, what are they called again? The Elegant Faceted Gems. I will get those mailed out to you, okay? All right, gonna keep that one separate. All right. I have my few drawings, so I'm trying to like, I got my little tubs with the names and everything so I can keep everybody straight. So, okay, congratulations, Tammy. That is awesome. Oh, and you're so sweet, Kay. You're always so gracious. I love that. Ding. Sorry, guys. It just keeps like blipping in and out. All right, we'll be okay, though. <laughs> my notes are all messed up. Well, I guess we are going to do another. We're going to do two drawings back to back. How about that, right? So um, what are we drawing for now? Now we are going to do, yep, I have names in there, right? Okay, I'm trying to, you know, to keep myself organized, right? So now we are going to do our drawing for the Gilded Gems, right? So we love our fancy bling around here, right? So this drawing is, if you shared the Facebook Live video, the one that I did last week, all the way up until Thursday night, if you shared the Facebook Live video, or if you're new to me and you signed up for my email list, your name is now in the tub. So yeah, I've got tubs, tubs of names and I'm like transferring um, one set of entries for another set. So I am super organized today. All right, here we go. So we are drawing and a little bit hyper, can you tell? Because I'm really, <laughs> I'm really excited about this catalog. So much good stuff. Okay, so here we go. This one we are drawing. One name, one name, got one name in my hand, Miss Liz Balea. Congratulations, Liz. I will get the Elegant Faceted Gems, or no, these are not, these are the Gilded Gems. The Elegant Faceted Gems are from the other drawing. Okay, yeah, I got this figured out now. All right, so we'll get rid of those because I have to use this one more time for one more drawing. We're gonna do that in a few minutes. Um, in the meantime though, for um, this Facebook Live right now that we are on all the way through next, Thursday night if you share the video or sign up for my email list like we do every single week. I love your shares too. You guys have been doing a really good job with the sharing. If every single person that watched this video shared it, that would be amazing. And plus you get your name in the drawing for fun stuff. So why not? It's super easy, right? All I have to do is hit the share. And if you want to say something about it, I used to be like, yeah, you got to say something. Now I'm like, whatever, just share the video. So super, super easy. Share, 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 share the video. As many times as you share, your name is going to go in the drawing to win. Can you guys hear? These are the flowers for every season gems. So we got a little glare. Okay, so these are, I don't know if you can see them better from the back side. They're like a pretty green and white. Um, they might be just jade. I bet they are because the flowers for every season have um, the in colors, the designer stories paper have the in colors in them. So these are like the, I can't remember what they were called, but it's like the Valentiny gems that we had that were like red, pink, and white. So they, you know, clearly don't have any adhesive on the back of them, but they're super easy to adhere to projects and really, really pretty too. They are the same idea where they, they're kind of, um, I don't know if they almost look like pyramids or something, but that's not really right. But anyway, they're really cute. But all you have to do to add these to a project is just put a little bit of, um, I like the shimmery crystal effects. You just do a little dab of that and then you grab your take your pick tool and you pop one of these like onto your take your pick tool and then put it right onto where your little dabbed the um, 
shimmery crystal effect. So they're actually super easy to work with. Because at first, when I got these, the Valentiny ones back for our spring mini, I was like, oh, I don't know about these. I love the any of the sequins that have the adhesive on them. Those are my favorite. I absolutely love those. Um, but they do kind of get like all jammed up together. So this is nice because they don't have any adhesive, so they're not getting all stuck together. And they're actually really a lot easier to work with than I thought. So anyway, this is what we're going to give away on next week's Facebook Live. All right. Okay, okay, what's next, what's next? So much to show you guys. Yeah, I just can't even believe it. Okay, um, yeah, oh yeah. So speaking of awesome team members, we have two Inkspired Stampers that basically with their most recent order out of the um, new annual catalog. So on June 3rd, we had two promotions to Bronze Elite in the Inkspired Stampers. So yay, congratulations. So we've got Jamie Sanders and then we've got Aaron Miller, both promoted to Bronze Elite on Wednesday. So that was awesome. It was so fun. I was like, okay. I was asking my team, like, who put your order in? And I happened to look at our reports and I was like, oh my gosh, they both just promoted. So I'm like, well, clearly, Clearly, these ladies put their order in and then uh, promoted to Bronze Elite. So that is an awesome, that's like the sweet spot in kind of the compensation plan because now both of those gals get 25% off of their orders instead of just 20%. Or if they get outside orders, then they're earning additional income. So instead of earning 20% income on orders, they are going to be earning 25% income. So yeah, you guys are really very sweet. Again, all the congratulations coming in. So yeah, plus the other amazing thing is they did it really fast too. They qualified for what's called the Quick Start program. So when you buy the starter kit, if you reach $900, $900 in sales in your first three months, hey Nancy, you reach the first Quick Start level and they both did that. So a couple, I don't know, not even that long ago, a month or two ago, they got 5,000 flex points for reaching their first Quick Start level. And then when you get to $1,800 in sales, not only do you promote to Browns Elite, but if you do it super quick in the Quick Start period, you also reach that second Quick Start level and they get 10,000 more flex points from Stampin' Up! That then, guess what? They can use for more free product. So that was awesome, outstanding. They are both doing such a good job. We have so many team members that are doing so well. I'm glad you're here now, Nancy. Whenever you can get on, it's great to have you on whenever you can pop on. So yeah, so anyway, more motivation. Get that starter kit, put your orders in, reach the quick start levels, get to Bronze Elite because you can get 25% off of your orders and have fun with us too. We have an awesome group um, of Inkspired Stampers, like I said. We um, have a separate Facebook group just for people in my downline in my Inkspired Stampers group. We have meetings, we have make and takes, we have swaps. We just have a lot of fun together. So join us, please get that starter kit and join us, right? So, and again, congratulations to Jamie and Aaron. You guys are doing an amazing job as so many other of our Inkspired Stampers are as well. So great group of ladies I'm having. And it's been so fun too, even with the whole like COVID-19 thing and being separated, it's just a really nice group to be a part of. So join us if you would like to, we would love to have you. All right, um, okay, let me make sure. Yep, oh, and so I have to like uh, kind of brag on Jamie a little bit. Um, she sent me this card, I loved this card. This, um, I think these are actually her swaps. Now I'm like, wait a minute, am I getting, yeah, I'm pretty sure, so talk about swapping. So here, um, if you're in my expired Stampers group, this is why you are going to want to swap with us this month because Jamie made these beautiful cards with, of course, our Celebrate Sunflowers um, bundle, right? So this is a stamp from there that says, know that you are loved, which is awesome, right? And then I love, I have not thought to do that, where she just used the detailed die. I've seen a lot of, you know, the stamping and cutting out with the full and then maybe overlaying it, but she just used this die right here and put it on the card. Plus she used the new Tasteful Texture Embossing Folder. So isn't that beautiful? So you guys are gonna wanna swap with me, any of my Inkspired Stampers, get your swaps in to me because then you can get one of these beautiful cards. In addition to, I've gotten cards from others as well. I'm not sharing those because I can't show them all. And I was like, oh, Jamie, I have to show this one. She said it was all right um, because it features our product of the week too. And she used just a little bit of that Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper with the pretty sunflowers. Isn't it? It's beautiful, I know. 
know. I was like, and then the super cute um the gingham ribbon too. Isn't that so fun? So this it was funny because she sent me a package and I was like, oh, what's she sending me? And I kind of forgot about the swaps to be honest. And I was like, oh, Jamie's sending me a package. And not that I wasn't, I wasn't disappointed. I was actually thrilled. I was like, oh my gosh, she sent her swaps. So, so very, very cool to get those. And just a beautiful, yeah, so many details. Plus she said her favorite right now are the gilded gems. So she popped one of those on there too. So awesome, awesome card. So yeah, do your swapping ladies and you will get one of those cards too. So, um, all right, I think we are, yeah. Let's talk about our next drawing, right? So if you put an online order in last week, hold on, let me get those names in. Thank you guys, I did have a couple of online orders last, well, well last week or probably this week really, um, once we could order out of the new catalog. So thank you guys so much for your online orders. So anybody that put in an online order of at least $30 is getting these two projects that I demonstrated last week, right? So either the fully completed cards or if you want the make and takes, I always ask which one do you want? So if you haven't heard from me, I have gotten a little bit behind. Things have been, some weeks are just crazier than others. So I will be emailing today to find out if you want the make and takes or the fully completed cards, right? With your online order. Then your name is also right now in this little tub in the drawing for that tasteful textile embossing folder, which like I say, reconnecting, that's all right. So it's this one. Can you guys see? It's just a nice little, kind of like a nubby texture on the card, okay? So this is um, what your name is in the drawing for right now, right? Plus, if you bumped your order up to $50, you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial with my fun sunflower card in it, or the free embellishment for June. Um, so. Yes, lots and lots and lots of good stuff that you get for free with your orders. So let's do our drawing now for the tasteful, yep, tasteful textile embossing folder, all right? Here we go. We've got the names bouncing around in here. I know that card is beautiful, isn't it? Okay, got one name in my hand, Miss Kay Jacoby, congratulations. Kay has been ordering, and Kay needs to get the starter kit, right, Kay? <laughs> so you can get your discount on your own order. So I appreciate your orders, but yeah, you need to get the starter kit because you've been having so much fun ordering. So Miss Kay, congratulations on receiving the Tasteful Textures embossing folder, or Tasteful Textile. I'm probably gonna say that wrong a lot. Oh well, that's okay. Okay, so yeah, I will get that sent out to you, Miss Kay, congratulations. All right, so I don't have the other um this week because again I, I just ordered um but let me flip i'm gonna find which way actually it's back the other way i should have flagged my page but i know it's right here so next friday we are <laughs> yes okay i'm sorry you're i'm like making you feel guilty you don't have to feel guilty no no <laughs> Yes, get the starter kit, Miss Kay. Okay, so in the meantime, next Friday, we will draw for, this is the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series Paper Pack. So that's what we're gonna give away with um, at least a $30 order. Your name will go in the drawing to win the um, flowers, right? Did I say that right? Flowers for Every Season, is that what I said? That pack of Designer Series Paper is what we'll draw for. Plus you'll get the cards that I'm gonna demonstrate in just a little bit as well with your order. Okay, so I'm gonna leave that open so I remember about that. Okay, so that's next Friday. Um, man, I need a sip of water already. Hold on, hold on. Okay. <laughs> You're so funny, Kay. You just wanna do it so bad. Okay, yes, I'll help you, I'll help you. Let me know when you're ready. Um, okay, we did that. Yep, we talked about that. Oh, okay. So I want to tell you guys about too many notes. Okay, the super summer giveaway. All right, I do this. Um, I've done it actually the past couple of summers. And I honestly cannot remember if it, I went over it last week. So we're doing it again this week, just to be safe. So it's all backwards. I know but this is the idea all summer long. So from June 1st through the end of August on the 31st, you get entries into the super summer giveaway drawing all summer long. And I will tell you guys, I'm going to have some awesome new holiday catalog product that I will be giving away. I'll do the drawing 
um, early in September once I've been able to tabulate all the entries into the drawing. So this is how you get entries into the drawing all summer long. And this is if you're local or if you're long distance, you can participate in many of these things, right? So one for each event that you attend. So if I do any online events like online bingo, you attend, so you get an entry in there. Um, you get two entries for every $50 that you spend, so that's at a class or event or online. Hey, Roseanne, you get two entries each time you post a picture of a project that you made like we demoed on Friday's Facebook Live. The thing is that you have to use the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway when you post your project, okay? So either, for example, if you make a project using our um, Celebrate Sunflowers that we're gonna um, show on Facebook Live today, or if you make a project like with the same layout, the same card layout as I demonstrated on Facebook Live, post your pictures right here on um, our Facebook group all summer long using the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway. And at the end of the summer, I'm gonna go back through and search. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, type in my search button, the hashtag Super Summer Giveaway, Anybody that's posted using that hashtag, your name is gonna go in this drawing, okay? So I'm gonna to try to remember to remind you guys each week about that, all right? So post all summer long, right? You also get uh, two entries for each new guest that you bring to a class or an event. Um, you get three entries for joining a club. So club can mean the simple beautiful card club, the scrapbook club, the um, car class to go club. So my to go kits that I do every single month, if you decide you want to join that club and get those for the next 12 months. So if you're long distance, um, you get three entries in the drawing. Also paper pumpkin and in color club count too. So three entries in the drawing for any of those. Five entries if you purchase the starter kit, which why wouldn't you do that right now? It's already an awesome deal. And then finally, five entries if you hold a private party or class. Um, we can do that online, we can do it down at the stamp studio, we can do it at your house, whatever we wanna do. All summer long entries into the drawing for the super summer giveaway, okay? So that will be awesome. We'll do, like I said, we'll give away some fun new holiday catalog product. But that's not until September when we're ready to talk about holiday catalog stuff because I'm certainly not ready to talk about that yet. Okay, um, let's scoot that note out of the way. <laughs> oh, okay, so one more thing I wanna show you guys. I finally, I've like had so much guilt and I think it's because of the whole COVID thing, not being able to plan things very well. Um, so the celebration, celebration, that's what I'm trying to say. I've been feeling, I had been feeling really guilty that I hadn't been able to tell you guys what was going on with that. Cause you know, all of celebration, I was telling you, oh my gosh, yes, you have all these great ways you can qualify for the celebration, celebration event. And then I wasn't able to hold it like I normally would have. So I finally did it last Saturday in the driveway. And we actually, it turned out to be like the most perfect, beautiful day outside. I was like, oh, I love this. I love this working outside thing. It was just, it was, I don't know. The, the weather was just absolutely amazing. And no birds pooped on anything, which was really fabulous. Cause I have lots of huge trees and they're always like flying. The birds are everywhere. Um, so thank God. <laughs> There was no problem because that was my fear. I'm like, I don't have tents. I can't cover everything. Um, but the squirrels, the squirrels were kind of nuts. But other than that, <laughs> it was fabulous. Hey, Debbie. Um, so yeah, so we did, let me show you guys. This is what everybody, so if, if you came, you already know about this. If you couldn't make it and you're local, I put everything in bags for you and it's out on the porch for porch pickup and I've been emailing about that. And then if you're long distance, I'm gonna mail everything to you. So the packages are either going out today or if you're doing like the designer series paper share or the in color club, I decided I'm gonna wait and put everything together. So you're gonna get your celebration, celebration stuff and maybe a designer series paper share or in color club stuff. Cause that I'm gonna have um, early next week. So I'm just gonna put it all together. Helps me save on shipping a little bit. Um, so I appreciate that as well. But in the meantime, so not to really spoil things, but you guys have to know. So next year you can qualify too for, <laughs> okay, you're ready to move up to Alma. Well, yeah, it's nice right now, but there are about nine months when the weather's really not very nice. So I don't know. If you wanna just move for the summer, that would be my suggestion. And then go back to North Carolina where it's gotta be more mild than it is <laughs> up here all winter long, right? So anyway, in the meantime, 
exciting time. Okay, so again, not to spoil things, but this is what everybody received that came to the event or you're gonna be getting in the mail. Well, everything except not this, because um, I normally um, have like food out, but with the whole COVID thing, I was like, I don't know, that just kind of, that was the one thing that kind of like, I don't think I can do that. So normally, you know, I'd have like cheese and crackers and fruit and just little snacks and everybody can have, you know, a little of this and a little of that. Um, and I was like, I just can't do that. So I made little like treat bags for everybody. So they, I just bought like um, the brown lunch bags, like maybe you used to use to take to school. And I stamped them with the sunflower, which I love, right? And then this one doesn't even have anything in it, but then I just put cute treats. And I was like, okay, everybody can have their little treat bag. So if anybody got hungry while they were hanging out and playing and stamping, they could have their little treat. So that was the first thing, right? Again, with those sunflowers. So you really get to kind of see, even on the lunch bag, all of the detail. Uh, oh yeah, you like the snow? Yeah, wait, I don't know, okay. Have you lived up north? When you have, I, you know, we've had snow since um, November through like, I just put my winter coat away. So yeah, uh, yeah, you gotta really like the snow. Okay, so then I made treats for everybody and uh, say people that played online bingo are gonna recognize these because I was like, oh, they're so cute. We're just gonna um, use them for the celebration celebration treat also. So, but I learned my lesson because I mailed, back when we had online bingo, it wasn't quite as hot, at least for me, so I didn't really even think about it. So I put Giardelli chocolates in um, and mail them to everybody and most of them ended up being melty by the time they got to people. So I learned my lesson. If I'm gonna mail these out to you now, ah, oh, okay, so you know about the cool then, yes, from Maryland, Miss K. Um, yeah, so I learned my lesson and I bought some um, little sticky pads. So now if I'm mailing these celebration, celebration treats to you, you're gonna get the little sticky pad hopefully that doesn't bum anybody out, right? Instead of a melty chocolate, because they're all gonna be melty by now. So cute little treats. These are the fun little diaper fold technique treat. So there's the back, right, of that one. You guys can see the designer series paper a little bit better with the ornate garden suite. Hello, Miss Susan. So just some fun little treats for everybody that they were able to take home or you'll be getting in the mail. Then we had make and takes. So this is the first one, and these are the little note cards. We've got this just saying hello with, this is my favorite designer series paper, that Ingo Taste designer series paper. My favorite pattern, I guess I should say. I love, it's like the tile, like I want that tile um, in my kitchen. And then the next make and take, another note card. This is the Forever Fern, Forever Greenery um, um, Suite, yes. Thanks a bunch, right? Fun little card there. And then lastly, featuring a couple of our ink colors. We kept them pretty simple because I don't want to stress people out. We did three of them. Normally, we only do two make and takes. Um, but I thought, okay, I wanted to get um, with the little note cards. I'm like, okay, we'll do two note cards and then one. So this is featuring the new Magenta Madness in color and then the Misty Moonlight in color. So cute little card there too. So everybody's gonna be getting those three make and takes. So Lily was my super duper helper and she put most all of everything together for those um, make and takes. And then everyone is also receiving, let me get this, yeah. Can I get this situated here? a package of, okay, so it's like a half a package of the Gilded Gems and then a quarter of a pack of the new Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. So all of that goodie stuff will be sent out to you or it's out on the porch if you qualified for the Celebration Celebration event. And hopefully we'll have lots more people that will qualify next year, next Celebration. They'll be able to give you lots of fun new stuff from the next annual catalog, okay? All right, so I think blah, 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 right? We are ready to flip the camera down. I've got a few more things to show you, then we're gonna do our stamping. It's funny, because I had even more to show you, and I was like, oh, we gotta cut some of this off, or we're gonna be here for days and days, right? Um, and I know you guys enjoy this, right? But I don't know about days and days. I would be exhausted if I talked for days and days anyway. Okay, so I think, yep, I'm like scanning around, trying to make sure. Let me just move. I got to move my notes. <laughs> move my notes out of the way. Son of them. Because I don't want you guys to see all my scribbles. Okay. So let's flip the camera down. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'm organized. Thank you for sharing, Susan. 
And I'm glad you guys like those make and takes. Thank you, Philomena. Okay, turn your heads away for a sec. We're gonna flip the camera down. I got a couple more things to tell you guys about. Yay! Hopefully you guys are all having a good day today. We have, I don't know. There's nothing going on with the weather around here. I don't know why it's doing that. Okay. All right, so wanted to give you guys a quick recap of the new annual catalog designer series paper share because i did put my first order in and i i think i over ordered so i have some extra designer series paper if you've been thinking about this or maybe this is the first time you're hearing about it i want to make sure you know this is the best way to get essentially so from this catalog you are going to get Oops, right here, right? So you're gonna get a quarter of a pack of every single one of these designer series papers, right? So it's a six by 12 sheet if it comes six by 12. This one's six by 12. These are actually six by six. So you're gonna get one full six by six sheet, okay? So again, either six by 12, most of those are. This one's a six by six also or six by six. So you're gonna get one sheet of each of the designer series papers in here plus you are also going to get let's see what did they just show the in colors there you're going to get in these patterns the brights regals subtles and neutrals you're actually going to get a half a pack of those because they only give me two sheets of each of the patterns so i'm going to give one half to one person and the other half to other person so you get one of each of those brights regals subtles neutrals and then for free for signing up for the designer series paper share Oops, that's actually subtles, isn't it? You're gonna get last year's in colors, one sheet of each of those as a, um, as kind of your freebie for signing up for the designer series paper share. So that's kind of all listed on here, right? So again, and I have been posting, this is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com if you wanna kind of peek at it and get a little more detail, but basically you get all a quarter of a pack of all the designer series paper or a half a pack of Brights, Regals, Subtles, Neutrals, plus for free the sampler of the 2019-21 designer series paper. And, and that is all for just $65, okay? If you bought all of these packs of paper, it would be like over $260. So just so you guys know, I don't upcharge for any of this. Basically, I take the cost plus the tax and the shipping, I divide it by four, and that's how I come up with my $65 price, okay? So I'm not I'm not at charging extra for, you know, the time to get everything cut and prepped it cut and prepped and packed and all of that okay if you do need it shipped to you i'm going to send that priority mail shipping because i think they take better care of things and that's eight dollars plus there's um um insurance and tracking on those okay so the first round of orders have gone in i have like i said i i over ordered a little bit so if you would like a dsp share i ha can accommodate a few more people right away if not i'm going to just keep on ordering through the RSVP date is Saturday, June 27th, okay? And then in that case, I will make sure everything is shipped out no later than Wednesday, June, July 15th. But if you wanna do it sooner, I will get them out to you sooner, okay? So let me know if you have any questions. I, this paper, I mean, just look, we've got some beautiful packs of paper in here, right? And it's just a fun way to get a sample of each of our papers in the catalog. And then you can play with what you have. And if you don't love it, then you have a little bit to play with it. Or if you love it and play with it all, then you know what you want. You can order more. Okay. All right. Scoot that out of the way. Next. Oh, okay. So do you guys remember last week I was kind of showing? So again, kind of in conjunction with all of this designer series paper, I think Susie, you were asking, are you going to offer these? And I was like, oh, I don't know. It's a lot of work. And then later, Lily's like, oh, mom, come on, I can help you. So when she said that, I'm like, okay, we can do this. So if you would like to get a sampler, let me check my notes. Where are my notes? Which basically, so the designer series paper samplers, what I'm going to do is this is Whisper White cardstock printed. I will print all of these out for you. I will give you all of these pieces and we'll punch all of these circles. So basically, you can make these as kind of, and I love them, like when I go to design a card, I'm like, oh, okay, I wanna use this World of Good Designer Series paper. And then I can kind of look and see what the patterns of the paper are. And then also we have all of the coordinating colors listed and then 
right along the side here too, right? So this is an awesome, just kind of a tool to use. I love to have these on display down at the Stamp Studio too. If you do classes, it's a great um, way to kind of showcase the designer series paper as well. But it's a great tool just for card making also. So if you are interested, I'm going to print these all out for you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a two by four piece of each of the six patterns in this case. You're going to cut them in half so you have a front and a back. We'll do all your circle punching and then I'll give you pictures of all these so you can assemble them, okay? So there are 11 different samplers. We And I only have a few of them done because I could only order so much. So that was whatever that was called. <laughs> this is the Forever Greenery, so you kind of get the idea, right? And then we have nine other ones that you are going to fill in and I'm going to fill in once I get my first packs of paper. So again, basically it is all of this paper. So all of these and all of these. So that's eight, nine, ten. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you the new in colors. We're not going to do the Brights, Regals, Subtles, Neutrals, and last year's in colors, but we are going to do this year's in colors. And that'll be a great way for you to see the patterns and then all the new in colors. Okay. So these little samplers I'm offering for uh, just $12. If you're interested in these let me know i don't i haven't emailed um so i can send you a paypal link um i i should try to get them posted i just i just kind of figured out what i wanted to do to be honest so i need to get things posted and emailed um, but in the meantime if you would like one just send me a message you can write me a check and send it to me or we can do a paypal link but it's just 12 dollars to get 11 um, of these little DSP samplers, okay? So if anybody would like these, let me know and we will get these cut. And then it's actually, I'm gonna send them um, uh, priority mail shipping too. So if you do need them shipped to you, what I would actually suggest is do like the designer series paper share or the in color club, and then there won't be any additional shipping because you're already paying for shipping on those other things. And we'll just pop these in with it. But if you just want these, it's it'll be $8 shipping for the priority mail shipping. Um, okay, so I've got a couple people. Susan is saying I'd love it, and Kay is saying put me on the list. Okay, I will do that. I'm going to go back through the comments, so if people comment anymore, I will go back through. I'll get your names on the list. Um, so yeah, you just need to send a check for $12. Um, if you need it mailed to you, and we don't have anything else going out to you, then it's $20 to have things mailed to you also. Okay? Uh, oh, actually, I should tell you, right now I have room for 16 people in this. So the first 16 people that sign up, that's what we're going with. And then if we have many, many, many more, I'll order more paper and we can get those out to you also. Okay? All right. So those are the paper samplers. Oh, we are almost ready to... Okay. Two couple more. Oh my gosh, there's just so much to share with you guys, right? So you guys know, I have to tell you one more time about the in colors, right? We've got all of our, our new in colors. Okay, Sharon, and you don't need shipping. Um, it's not included in the paper share, Susie. It would be a totally separate thing, okay? So yeah, you can do the designer series paper share, and then you could get these samplers as well. Then you get like a lot of the paper, wouldn't you? Okay, so let me know if you guys have any questions on that. But back to in color, right? So I just have to feature because we are loving all of these new in colors. So Bumblebee, Misty Moonlight, Just Jade. I think this is Cinnamon Cider, right? And then uh, Magenta Madness, right? So if you are interested, I'm doing my in color club like I've done for many, 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 many years now, right? So you can get, and I put my first order in, but I'm still taking people that are wanting to get into the In Color Club, right? So each month, you're going to get one of those five colors. So for example, first month, maybe in June, you would get Just Jade. You get a full pack of cardstock. You get the ink pad. You get the ink refill. You get the full bolt of the Just Jade ribbon. It's so funny. I was looking for this ribbon, couldn't find it. I'm like, oh, there it is right there with this, right? Then you also get the Stampin' Blend in just jade when I can get them those are Bermuda Bay pretend they're not <laughs> actually many of many of these things are Bermuda Bay Shh, don't don't um I didn't tell you that right and then you get the marker too sorry I get so like off on a tangent plus you also get this is just jade the designer series paper all um eight sheets 
in the two different front and backs, right? So in Color Club, right there, each month you get all of this in each of the five colors, right? It is $47 if you're local. If you need it shipped to you, it's that additional $8 priority mail shipping. And that's what I was saying. Do the In Color Club and then get the DSP samplers and there's only one $8 shipping fee. I'll just put it all together for you. Um, so that kind of saves, saves on shipping too if you're not local to me, okay? But I would love to get you signed up for the In Color Club. This is the best way to get all of the products in each of our In Colors and kind of do it on a budget over the next five months. Okay, if you have any questions, I have been emailing and posting about that, I know. Um, yeah, and let's see, Connie, you are saying, I think you're talking about, I don't know which one you're talking about. Tell me, you're emailing me, perfect. That's, that's perfect. Okay, we'll chat more later. Okay, all right, good stuff. Okay, so much, so many good things to have and need right now. <laughs> it's craziness. Okay, ladies, I think we are just about ready to do our stamp, I gotta find my um, grid paper and our new host code too. Let's see if I can get that out without messing everything up here. Okay. Do, 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 do. Here, this is our new host code for this month. Oops, there, now it's in view, right? So this is the new June host code. This is on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com if ever you can't find it. But this is the code you're gonna to wanna to use when you order this month, the N2NT6VJF. But I'm telling you what, if you wanna get a bunch of stuff from the annual catalog, get the starter kit, get the awesome deal, and then get your 20% discount. Then you don't even need this host code. My freebies are awesome. I know they are awesome, but even better than my freebies is getting your 20% discount on all your own orders. Okay, just say in. All right, dee, 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 dee. what did I want to show you? Oh, one more, right? I think I had one more thing that I wanted to show you guys with one of our, well, with our product of the week, the Celebrate Sunflowers. I may have, oh, I know, because I cased this card from Amy Conders. I loved this card when I saw it. She actually, I think, um, well, I think she used a full piece of designer series paper, so you didn't even see the white around the edge, but that really doesn't matter because the true star of the show here is this sunflower. And I love, and I'm gonna show you how we did this too, with the center and then the gingham, the Just Jade gingham ribbon, super duper cute, right? And then the leaves, and then the Let's Celebrate You. Awesome stamp or uh, sentiment, right? Hey, Erin, congratulations on uh, promoting to Bronzy Lead. I see you're just popping on here. Um, and I also sent this card to all of my top five sales people in my Inkspired Stampers group for the month of, let me think about this. It was for April and I sent them in May. <laughs> I'm like, where, what month are we in? Does everybody feel like that? What month are we in? So anyway, I just had to show you guys. This was my version of Amy Conder's card. Um, I do a lot of casing. I do that, honestly. I, I run out of brain power to come up with my own ideas. And I don't think anybody really even minds, um, save my top five people. I'm sure loved getting this card, whether I designed it or I cased it from Amy on Pinterest. All right, so let's do our stamping. I think we are ready. Okay, get my grid paper. Here we go. I know nothing again. Whatever. Move that. Let's see. So there, I know I'm in view now when I can see everything here. Okay. All right, first card, ladies. Here we go. I love these sunflowers. So we used the detail, we did do the stamping, and I love these, I, I think they're sunflowers, right? Or daisies maybe? I don't know, I think they just work so perfectly with our Celebrate Sunflower stamp set. So this is part of the Ornate Garden Designer Series Paper Pack, and it works beautifully with our Celebrate Sunflowers bundle. So let me go ahead and show you how we are making this card today. Everything's always flipping all over the place. Okay. So hang tight, ladies. Let's see. It almost looks like it's getting cloudy. I think we might get some rain here later today. Thank you, guys. All right. What do I have? I've got lots of... Oh, yeah, I did a few already because I didn't want you guys to have to sit and watch me stamp and die cut too many times. Okay. We are starting with, this is a piece of Bumblebee, our brand new in color, similar, very similar to Crushed Curry. Um, I would have to, 
have them side by side to tell you what the difference is, and I don't think I've done that yet, now that I say that. Anyway, so our eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half, right? And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter. I'm glad you guys like this card, thank you. Then we have a piece, and again, measurements will all be on my blog this afternoon at gatheringinspiration.com, four by five and a quarter, and then the Ornate Garden DSP is three and three quarters by five inches. And then the only other piece you need to know is this Whisper White Strip for our sentiment that is three quarters by three and a half. And then I've got some scraps of uh, Bumblebee, Old Olive, and um, Early Espresso for our um, sunflower. Okay, so let's do our stamping. Let's start with this one, see if I can... We're gonna use, so I don't have Bumblebee yet, it's on order, so that's why I'm kind of interchanging with my crushed curry, which I think works just fine. In the meantime, it just keeps freezing. I don't know. Maybe with, there's, I think, okay. You guys will get the idea here though, right? Okay, and then we're gonna stamp. I already did two leaves. I need three for this card, not in that one though. We're gonna use old olive ink. Okay, nice easy tap, tap, tap. Put that one there. Lots of detail on here too, which I love. Okay, this is why I kept this one out though, because we're gonna stamp our sentiment, the thanks a bunch on, no, you know what? Actually, let's do this first. So have you guys seen, this is the new, I don't even know what this punch is called, but it's um, a little label punch that you can use either half inch, three quarters or one inch wide strips. Yeah, the colors are beautiful, aren't they, Susie? Okay, and then you can kind of see the detail. So this one's a little bit more, um, I don't know, ornate, and this one's a little more simple. We're gonna use a little bit more simple one. So there are three different grooves here. Again, half inch, three quarter, and one inch. This is three quarters of an inch wide. So we're just gonna slide this in until it hits the end. And I'm gonna punch one end. All right, oops, can you see? There we go. And then we're gonna punch the other end and then I'll stamp on it because I was afraid um, maybe I wouldn't do something right. So cute little punch, right? All right, so here we go. We've got our thanks a bunch. Stamp, sticks a little bit, there we go. I love that thanks a bunch, right? Okay, so now let's do our die cutting. Keep those leaves over there. And that little sentiment too. Okay, let me grab my big shot. Actually, let's put that guy up there. Okay, you guys can see what's going on. Actually, you know what we're gonna do? We're gonna trim this off. We do not need that whole piece. Save that for another day. This one, and actually we're gonna have to do, oh, I know why we need that. That makes sense, okay. I'm like, what's going on? Okay, let's do these two first. So we have our sunflower dies. So we are going to, we need this detail leaf just on the green. We're gonna do the outline right there. And then we're gonna use this guy. And we just want this, ooh, wait a minute. I don't have my, oh no, we're good. Yep, we're gonna, I was looking at the wrong card. We want this little part to go on the early espresso and then we're gonna I'll show you what, what we'll do to make that look good okay so we'll die cut our sunflower in a sec all right so we got those all right, I'm sorry it's gonna wiggle and I'm gonna go back and forth just a little bit to get as many whoa <laughs> and when you let go of the handle it just wings back at you if you're not careful there all right so let's see what we've got this one is easy this one's got some detail. Do you see the, all the fun little detail there? But it usually kind of lifts right up. Yep, isn't that handy? So that one just pops right out. Put that there, and then our leaf, okay? So we need those two. Now this one, lots of, there's lots of mess on here. So I actually brought my little, um, this is my little tin. I keep these all over the place just to, um, hold the trash basically. So we are gonna trim this off. We'll do this in a sec though. You can see lots of junk on there too, right? Okay, so let me take this over here. Kind of get as much of that off as I can. Okay, 
now, yeah, so this is why I had a full, <laughs> like, can't remember what I'm doing here. So we've got this one, actually, let's put this one down and I'll show you the trick that I learned to, cause you can see like, oh my gosh, how am I gonna get this thing lined up, right? There's this one that kind of wings over to the right and there's a little bit more of a space. So when you find that on your stamp, then you can find the one right here. It also kind of wings. Can you guys see that? It wings over a little bit. I don't know how else to say that. There's just a little more space. So I know that that goes right on here and you guys can't see that. So let's scoot that over a little bit, right? So that helped me. You just get that one little spot and then everything else will kind of fall right in place. And then the detail, okay. So this um, die set definitely um, makes a mess and that's okay. Uh, we're gonna go back and forth on this detailed piece one more time. There we go. Okay, hello, Miss Vina. How are you doing on this beautiful Friday? Okay, so there's our sunflower. Isn't that awesome? Lots of beautiful detail there. And then this is the one. So there's lots of lots going on there, right? But when we pull this off, you will see a lot of it kind of pops right out. So that's why you want to go back and forth a few times. So can you see it really isn't too, you just need to have your trash can handy. And these little things don't even really matter. There are a bunch of little holes that you might wanna pop out, but we actually covered it with our early espresso one, so it doesn't even matter. So don't worry about those. You just want those little hanging bits to come off. Okay, so again, I'm gonna get rid of all of that. Okay, so I think we are good with this one. Now we can put things together. Actually, let's do this real quick while I'm thinking about it. So I'm just gonna grab my paper snips and all we wanna do is just kind of start trimming around. And I did not really even worry too much um, about, cause it's supposed to, you know, um, look real. And if it were super perfect, it wouldn't, you know, it wouldn't look real, right? So we're just kind of snipping all of these things off. Oops, that one's kind of in the way there, right? So do that, get that one down in there a little bit more, right? The only other thing I wanna do, I did have, yep, okay. So there are a few of these little holes that I kinda wanna pop out. I tried with my Big Shot die brush and for me, they didn't get loosened quite as well as I wanted them to. So it was easier to just poke them out with your paper piercing tool. But I think that looks good. So you guys can see, right? Very cool. Okay, so now we can, yeah, you gotta, <laughs> I'm like, oh, look at all the little pieces. You guys can't even see them now, right? Okay, so now we can put our card together. Let's see, we need some adhesive and we are gonna need our little silicone mat. So let's just start by putting, so this is our early espresso piece. I ordered the new, is it called Stamp and Seal? So if I'm brave enough and I know what I'm doing, I will be using that next Friday on Facebook Live. We'll have to see <laughs> if I, I don't know. I'm sure it's gonna be easy, right? If I master it between now and then without my, my futsy snail here, right? Ooh, look at, isn't that so pretty? Yeah, the browns and the yellows, which it's funny because brown and yellow are not typically like very pretty colors, um, but they work so well on this, right? Okay, so now to build our sunflower. So this, we can just put adhesive, and I didn't want any adhesive on the outside edge. I just want it on this piece so that it will um, stick down on here. And again, I'm looking for that little piece that wings over to the right and then that one right there, and I know that I will have everything lined up. So you can see, can you guys see on my end view? You can, oops, I didn't hold that down very well. There, okay. So I wanna press firmly there, and then I kinda curled this up just a little bit, just cause I, I like, so that you can kinda see the detail there. And then this little baby, we are gonna use our little mini um, dimensionals and I'm gonna put it I don't want to put it where the little dots 
show through. So I'm trying to get pretty close to the edge, but I don't want to go too close. I don't want to be able to see it through the inside either, okay? Oh, you saw the new adhesive used. Okay, awesome. Sorry, I know I missed some comments there. Um, that one is showing a little bit, so you can always move them if you need to. So there's that, right? I like how that kind of popped up there. So now we can put this piece on our card. All right, so we're gonna do that. We're gonna just kind of add him maybe right about there. And we're gonna press firmly. Oh yeah, so now the leaf too. So we had this one that we stamped and then that one that we die cut. And all I did, because again, I didn't want them stuck down everywhere. I just put some adhesive down at the bottom, maybe a little bit more. And then we're going to tuck this underneath. So it doesn't even matter if there's kind of adhesive in places that you wouldn't normally want it because we're going to put them back behind our sunflower, okay? So then we will add, flip these guys over. And I love using my silicone mat here because then I don't get adhesive all over my work surface, okay? And I'm gonna kind of bend these up a little bit. So we're gonna tuck one. And I also didn't put adhesive too far around the edge, so I would be able to kind of lift this up and tuck these leaves underneath, okay? So I'm gonna put one there. And I do, I think it looks more lifelike when you can kind of curl them a little bit. And then these things aren't attached other than at the bottom too, so they'll kind of pop up also. So let's flip this one around and kind of lift this up and maybe put that one right there, right? So then we just have our little thanks a bunch. So we are gonna add with dimensionals. And what did I do? I didn't want it too far over on the flower, so I think I did like there and there, okay? Peel those babies off and pop that on right about there. And there we go. Isn't that awesome? Oh my gosh, I love, I think it's, so the paper behind it and then the colors all coordinate so well together. So thanks a bunch. All right, card number one, we did it ladies. Okay, let me scoot a couple things out of the way and we will move on to card number two. Okay. You guys can't even see all that mess, right? Ha ha ha. All right, so there's card one now. Oh, and actually, yeah, here. This is the Ornate Garden Designer Series paper. So this is the one we used right here. I would have shown you if I had thought, but that's the back side of it there too. So another one of those DSP samplers. Again, you can get these for $12 if you're interested, but I love, so this is how I came up with this card, right? Is I looked at my designer series paper and I said, okay, it used Bumblebee and Early Espresso. So that's why I went with my Bumblebee and Early Espresso right there too. So yeah. Okay. So card number one, I meant to show you that earlier. Great tool for card making those DSP samplers. Okay. So now I love the blue with the, the yellow, I absolutely love. Like this is the new Misty Moonlight color. Thank you guys, I'm glad you enjoyed that card. All right, so this is our next one. Again, we use some of the Misty Moonlight. This is the Designer Series paper. And then some of the smaller images in our Celebrate Sunflowers stamp set. And I think, yeah, we used all of the images. We just didn't use Know That You Are Loved and the congratulations on reaching a whole <coughs> new level of you. Storm, no barking. But everything else, we used all the other stamps in this stamp. Storm, storm, no barking, buddy. There's nobody here. Sorry, guys. I don't know. He, he's wishing UPS was here, right? I'm, I'm wishing UPS was here too. <laughs> all right, so this is, again, all of the new in-color designer series paper. I've shown you guys this a little bit, right? All of the fun in-colors. Let me get the cinnamon one there too and you guys can kind of see so there's a little teeny tiny typewriter print which i did learn has our um, statement of the heart the polka dots and then these are um kind of the what's that called like a little texture and then the wood grain is what we used right there too so all the different patterns and colors in our designer series paper right and again you would get one full pack of each of these if you decided to do the in color club Right, each of the colors 
each month and get them. Okay, so let's see. Let me get my pieces out. Put those over there. Oh, and I don't have Misty Moonlight ink yet, but I was reminded that we got a little spot, the Stampin' Spot, Misty Moonlight in the um, June no, May, the May Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I had to pull that out. And yes, Susan, he does love to participate. That's very, very true. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and get our stamping together and die cutting for this one. So let me tell you again about measurements. So this is a thick Whisper White card base that starts out at eight and a half by 11. So this time we made a tall card. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches for a nice crisp fold on our card. Then we have a couple of pieces of um, cardstock. So Misty Moonlight, this is a pretty kind of a dusty, very pretty blue, one of our new in colors, three and one quarter by four and a quarter. And again, all the measurements, item codes, everything that you need to recreate these cards and order what you needed will be on my blog this afternoon. This DSP measures three by four. So there's the wood grain side and there's the teeny tiny print to love what you do, to love what we do and share what we love, blah, 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 blah. But it's actually, maybe that's all it says. I couldn't believe someone could read that. Yep, to love what we do and share what we love. But then it's in a whole bunch of different um, um, uh, languages. That's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, and then we have um, some scraps of Old Olive, Bumblebee and another strip this one is Whisper White that measures three quarters by three and a half. Okay, and I did a little bit again of our stamping already because I didn't want you guys have to wait for me to do too much, but we're gonna make a couple more of these because we have one sunflower and two leaves, so we need another set of these also. Okay, so let's do our stamping. So again, we're gonna cheat and use our crushed curry ink on our Bumblebee cardstock, okay? So isn't that cute? That fun little, a little, a smaller sunflower. And then we are gonna stamp our leaves. Do these in Old Olive ink on Old Olive cardstock. Okay, so we've got those. And then let's see if I can do this. The, so this is how I ink with our stampin' spots. These, you just have to be a little more, more careful. I was kind of rocking too much and I was getting the ink in places I didn't want it. So you want to be pretty like straight across there, okay? Let's celebrate you. Let's see if I can do this. I'm trying to remember, I think I was stamping up too high in most cases yesterday. So let's see. All right, woohoo, I did it. Okay, very good. So that's the new Misty Moonlight color. All right, we will set that aside. So let's do our die cutting, all right? So I love the little spriggy things. I'll show you what I mean in this die set too, right? So we've got that little guy goes on there, our little leaves and they have, so that's kind of nice. The stamp has two leaves and then the die. And then we are going to use these. This is what I was talking about, these little spriggy leaf thingies. I have used these so many times. This is like the perfect little add-on when you just need a little texture, a little something. Um, I actually use them. Where are those? Very buried, yeah. So that little spriggy thing right there is that guy right there. So you can see what I mean. I just, that was too plain and I just added just a little something and then the little bow too. Just kinda, um, just add a little bit of fun to things. Okay, there we go. All right, ladies, I think, sorry, we're gonna go back through one more time. And here we go, okay. So we've got our little sunflower. Oh, the other thing that I did was I cut those leaves off. So we'll do that in a sec. We did, we used our paper snips a couple of times on these. So those little leaves, we gotta make sure we don't lose those. And then our little spriggy thing, did that work? Oh, where is it? <laughs> it's under there. Oh, it's still on the, I'm like, where did it go? When I flung it, I didn't see it. Okay, 
So these things are pretty well loved, so everything likes to stick to them. All right, let's just scoot that out of the way. When you get fresh ones, you know, things aren't quite so ingrained in there, so they don't stick quite as much. All right, so we're gonna add our adhesive to our designer series paper. Misty moonlight, beautiful new color. And then we're gonna pop this one right on here on our thick whisper white card base. Just kind of goes right in the center. Let's see, we got that one right there, okay. Next, oh, let's do this. We're gonna snip off. So I did use my snips a few times. I don't know what that low connection is all about. So there's one, we're just cutting the leaves off. We just want the sunflower. I'm sure we could have masked or something and stamped things, but there. Okay, so we just kind of cut those little babies off. Oh, thank you, I know, I love the blue and yellow too which actually I am a University of Michigan girl. It's where I went to school, so maize and blue, and this is really maize, I think. Maize and blue are my colors for sure. Okay, so here we are gonna add our, put one sunflower there, we're gonna put one, maybe, eh, let's see, I gotta find the right angle. You know, there is an angle for these flowers and sometimes they almost look upside down to me and then i'm just going to kind of curl them up a little bit now we have all of our little leaves so we're going to put adhesive on the back of these things and the pointy end for me is what i want to see so i'm going to put adhesive on the end that doesn't have do you see what i mean this little pointy end i want that out and then the not so pointy end is what's going to get tucked whoops back underneath okay so we're gonna do one there do one there put one there and i think i put one sorry things are flinging we're gonna put one maybe right there and then these little babies we are gonna just add some adhesive on these things and these are just gonna get kind of tucked in so this one kind of went in between and it's gonna cooperate with me i just know it right <laughs> maybe if i kind of fold these up a little bit then i can get it because i need it to be kind of tucked in there okay that one looks good there and then this one i wanted to come down underneath my sentiments so we're going to put that one right about there so i love just all that little spriginess right then you're going to want to grab some like a pen or something and kind of curl so this one's going to go up and then this one is gonna go down, right? So you wanna go up and down like a little roller coaster, right? And then we're gonna kinda make a little banner on the end. So can you guys see, we're just gonna snip about halfway between and then go to your corner and cut up to your angle. And then I think it's easiest to work from the same side. I can't cut in that way very well, so I just flip it over and do that. Okay, and then we're gonna add some adhesive here. We are gonna put that, where did I do it? Maybe right about there. I feel like I have some adhesive. You guys probably can't even see that, right? So we just kind of added that little bit there. And then, so on this one I use, this is the new Bumblebee, um, the twill ribbon. And then I remember, do I do have the gingham? I didn't think I had any more of this because I gave a bunch of it away um, for bingo. And I had just a little bit left over. So we are gonna, we're gonna try this. We're gonna use the Bumblebee Gingham and you guys tell me which ribbon you like better on it. I couldn't decide. Once I saw, oh, I do have that. I had already put the, the other um, Bumblebee, the Twill, instead of the Gingham. And then I was like, I don't know, which one, which one do I like better? So let's see. They're both cute. I think it just depends on your mood at the moment. All right, so we're gonna add a little glue dot there. I'm gonna put that ribbon right there. I do wanna trim that down just a titch. And then we need, whoo, crafter math, wow. We need one more. I, you know, I always, I'm like, oh, I gotta sprinkle something on here, right? Curl those little babies up a little bit more. Okay, so then I have, these are my frosted and clear epoxy droplets. And I just had to sprinkle a couple of these, oops. 
Oh, so that's why you don't do it like this, ladies, because sometimes you don't get the um, glue dot underneath. Be very careful of that. So you really should use your take your pick tool to pop those on there, which I didn't bring over here. So there we go. All right. So what do you guys think? Which one do you like better? Do you like it with the gingham or with the twill? I like them both, I think. But yeah, the blue and the yellow is so pretty. The maize and blue for me. <laughs> and may, maybe there are other Michigan fans out there too, right? Okay, so you guys, thank you so very, very much for joining me today. I'm going to pop this in. Just some quick reminders about recap on things here today, right? So if you are ready to order the Celebrate Sunflowers, sorry, the dyes are all over the place, but the Celebrate Sunflowers uh, bundle, the stamp set and the dyes, right? Make sure you grab the host code from my blog. Your name will go in the drawing to win the brand new, is it on this page? Yes, the Flowers for Every Season Designer Series paper pack, right? And you will get either the completed cards or the make and takes. And then if you bump your order up to $50, you get the PDF tutorial or the free embellishment from me. So thank you guys so much. We did it. Shoot, I was really long-winded. I knew that was going to happen today. So thanks for hanging with me today, guys. I appreciate it. And we will um, see you back here next Friday. Gingham, right, Christine? All right. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Awesome. All right. So let me know if you guys have any questions on anything. You can call, text, email me. I'm happy to help you. Okay. Have a great weekend. Happy summer. Right, guys? All right. Bye. Thanks, everybody.